you're halfway through your training menstrual cycle and one day you find yourself barely completing the prescribed work in one of your main lifts and you still have one or two more weeks to go, this video is for moments like these. Roll it. Perfect. Yo, what's a crack, my happy face pullers, your personal trainer, t -talks. Changing people's lives for the better through strength and fitness. Hopefully this video could help those of you who are getting serious about strength training and have aspirations to build a solid base for the next 5 to 10 years. If that's you, you might have realized that linear progression cannot be sustained forever. So today I'm going to share a little trick I did recently when I wasn't sure I could make progress in one of my main lifts. Smash the like button if you haven't already and let's jump right into it. You grab the new training program and everything is nicely laid out. The exercises, the structure, the percentages of your one repetition max. It looks beautiful, perfecto. You're super stoked to get all jacked and strong, but then SHIT happens. Oftentimes life gets out of whack and this can cause excessive physical and mental stress. No bueno. The human body is not a perfect, predictable machine and sometimes we require extra time to take the next step forward if circumstances are not ideal. For me personally, the combination of accumulated CNS fatigue from heavy lifting and sleep deprivation for more than one day really takes a dent at whatever the goal is for a heavy duty training session. However, let me make this very clear, this is not an excuse to not train. Today I want to share with you a method for those frustrating moments when things don't work out in the gym as expected. And to illustrate my point better, I'm going to offer you a specific example from my last training mesocycle. I was using the close grip bench press as my major upper body strength developer for my horizontal pressing. Just building a base with a classic 5x5, nothing groundbreaking really. I was adding a kilogram to the exercise every week for a 6 week period. Things were going amazing at the beginning, making all all sorts of gains, but then I had a little bit of a struggle with 74 kg. I couldn't complete the prescribed work, I felt like my RPE was too high with some grindy reps from the third set already, just having one of those days where everything feels much heavier. Had I felt this way in the last week of the training program, that would have been fine, that's something to be expected. You're supposed to feel pretty smoked by the end of it and you should be looking forward to your deload week. But in this particular case, I still had one more week to go. The lack of sleep and accumulated fatigue was having a negative effect on my bench press and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to complete the next 5x5 with 75 kg. So what did I do? I simply gave my body a little breather. I extended the mesocycle from 6 to 8 weeks. Not a big deal. So instead of going for a 5x5 in the close grip bench press with 75 kg the following week, as it was originally programmed, I cut down the volume to 3 sets with the same weight as the previous week, 74 kg. As a result, I had a relatively easy week. But wait a second, isn't that a very substantial decrease in volume in your main lift? Absolutely, but I made up for it by improving my performance in all of the accessory exercises in that week. For example, I completed 28 reps in weighted dips the previous week, so this time I managed to hit 10 repetitions in every single set for a total of 30. Additionally, I completed an extra set in another accessory, the flat bench press with dumbbells. Instead of doing 3 sets, I did 4. And finally, I added a back off set in the close grip bench press for higher repetitions on my two upper body training sessions that week. When the following week rolled around, I came back to training rested and hungry to complete my 5x5 in the close grip bench press with 74 kg. So I did, and that gave me the confidence boost I needed at the time to finish the mesocycle on a strong note. And at the end, I completed the last and most difficult session with this lift. Dropping you a sick tune in 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's absolutely key to strive for specific goals in every single session. 
but you should also listen to your own body, especially as we age. I'm not a professional athlete and there is no specific deadline I have to work with, so that means that I could afford taking some extra time to complete the prescribed work. If you feel like fatigue is creeping up on you faster than anticipated and you don't want to risk having a miserable training session in the gym, you may want to take your foot off the gas pedal for a week. You make up for the uncompleted sets by performing the same exercise with less weights and you can also complete more work with smaller exercises because after all, accessories are not going to be as taxing on your body. So the circumvention I'm describing in this video really helped dissipate some of that excessive fatigue I was carrying at the time. But enough of me talking, now I'd like to know what you do in these type of situations. What tweaks do you implement in your training when you feel like your body is running low on gas but you haven't still finished your mesocycle? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you think you learned something new or you found value in today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could drop me a like. It really helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to get notified when I release new content. I gotta go grab something to eat. In the meantime, stay fit, stay strong, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more gains. Peace.